Good evening, everyone. This evening, we are going to talk about a kind of trend that has been going on in the Western countries. And even in the Eastern country, but in Eastern country, only the thing is that it has not been realized yet. We all follow, we all actually indulge in that kind of activity, but we don't realize what to call it, why do we do it. We really don't have any kind of psychological answer or no one has actually coined any phrase for it. But in Western country, Dr. Mark Bolger has coined a phrase, quiet quitting. Quiet quitting, peaceful quitting, silent quitting. Meaning you are not going to talk about any about your ideas, your intention of quitting your job, quitting your education, quit, quitting class, quitting in marriage, quitting in, uh, you know, in your residence, business, activity, whatever you want to quit. Idea has been actually hovering in your mind that I want to quit this college, I want to quit this education, I want to quit this class, I want to quit English class at GA, I want to quit in this marriage, I want to quit this business, but you are not talking to anyone. Since you don't talk, but your activity actually has been indicating everything very categorically, very clearly, very transparently and very unequivocally that there is something that you are you are not doing right in your job or in your education or in anything. That activity, that kind of behavior of the person, whether the person is teacher or person is a doctor, or person is a lawyer, or person is a student, or person is spouse, husband, wife, or businessman, whatever, or whoever the person is, his activities are definitely going to tell the person like Dr. Mark Bolger that this person is actually quietly quitting. This is, he has given the name quiet quitting. Without telling anyone, without uttering a word, without mincing a word or a letter, you are thinking about distancing yourself from that particular phenomena, that particular situation, or that particular scenario. <clears throat> you are definitely thinking about it. So your activity has actually been sending the signals, indication to everyone that why you have been behaving like this. But the person cannot understand, cannot find the answer because he is a lay person. But if the person is like, say, for example, Dr. Mark Bolger, or now even you can also, now you are going to be familiar with that, that is quite quitting. So now when you are going to see anybody in your surrounding, like say, for example, you are sitting in the class, and someone next to you has been behaving in a different way, then you are going to recognize that he is actually indulging in quite quitting in your office. Someone doesn't do the right job, playing and tinkering with, doing dilly-dallying or flip-flop. You're definitely going to say in your mind that, yes, I know, buddy, you are actually indulging in quiet quitting. Maybe your boss may not understand. Maybe other guys, other fellows, other, uh, other of your colleagues may not understand, cannot identify, cannot distinguish. What is going on? What is whether he want to stay or he want to leave? Why he is behaving? Someone will say he is sick. That's why he behaving like that. Someone will say he's lazy. Someone will say he's sloth. Someone will say he has no interest. Someone will say he is not keen about his job and all that. But after listening this, all of you will be able to identify and distinguish that person that neither this person lazy nor sick, but he is. Quite quitting. I have chosen four points. Number one is when an employee dilly dally at work. When you see someone working with you, your colleague, doesn't do the job right, yawning and looking at the watch and looking at the clock and getting up on the seat and going to the to the washroom frequently and coming back and. Uh, and yawning and stretching his body and uh, 
Uh, doesn't talk to anyone. And uh, when you ask any question, he's actually going to bite you. This kind of person's behavior is because of the quit, quite quitting. He's planning to quit silently without telling anyone. He's definitely totally sure. He's totally determined and defined that he's planning to quit the job, quit the education, quit the class, whatever. Whatever he's engaged in or indulged in, he's planning to quit, but he's not going to utter a word. But he's definitely sending the signal, but signals are so vague, so confusing, that those people who are familiar with quiet quitting can understand and say, I can bet million dollars that he is going to quit because he is quite quitting right now. His behavior actually is telling you that he is quite quitting. Point number two is, when a student ignores class activities, now say for example you are a student, most of my students listen to this, so you look around in your class and you find some student is playing with the paper and the pen and uh, moving the pen and uh, uh, among his fingers and uh, he's, he doesn't pay attention to the teacher or professor the lecturer. He's looking here and there or looking in his lap or doing nothing. He looks to you totally lost that he has no any other problem. He's not dyslexic. He's not lazy. He is not totally dry interested, but his problem is quite quitting. And I believe a few days or a few weeks, you are definitely going to find out he is going to do the same thing. What you saw a few weeks ago, when he was actually playing with time, killing the time, getting bored, getting humdrum, getting monotonous in the class, he was not paying any kind of attention to his professor, that means he was quite quitting. Point number three, when an employee works half-heartedly, tinkering with work, it's your job, you find someone, doesn't pay much attention, he's not consumed worker, he's not motivated worker, he's not devoted, dedicated worker, but he just comes over here to kill the time and get the salary. He has not heart, soul or mind set on his job. He doesn't concentrate, doesn't focus. His focus is somewhere else. His focus is somewhere else on his own personal plans, what to do after leaving his job, what, where to work after leaving his job, what kind of work to find, where, what office or what company we should work after this job. When he's thinking about that, his focus is on his personal things, not on this, his obligation in the office where he works. His responsibility, his duties are not his first focus. Point number four is, when a teacher or learner or an employee quietly planning to quit. So when you see this kind of behavior, indicating and sending the signals very precisely, very categorically, unequivocally, that the person is not interested because he is planning quietly to quit the job. He is planning very quietly to get rid of this job, quit this job and find something else. So when you see anyone doing this kind of thing and the behavior is like that, whether he, the person is a professor or a teacher or a student or any employee in the bank, then you now know what is the problem with him and the problem is quite quitting. He's planning to quit quietly without minting, mincing a word, without uttering a word, without muttering a word, without telling anyone, without discussing with anyone. But his behavior is absolutely, positively, the, it, uh, indicating every single thing, sending the signals, sending the vibes that this person does not have anything wrong with him mentally, physically, biologically, psychologically, hormonally, he is fit. But his only the problem is that he is indulged in quiet quitting, silent quitting. He is planning to quit without telling anyone, 
this phenomena has become very much viral in the western countries and now most can find out that this person is sending the signal of quite quitting so before he quits the boss is going to let him go and save the payroll because boss is now sure that if you give him six months time or years time this person is definitely going to quit eventually so we better let him go and save the company's payroll save the company's money let this person go before he quits so that's all the time we have thank you very much for listening see you again next time until then god bless everyone on this planet amen